In this video, I'm going to show you the select voice and chords function in Harmony Wizard for Studio One, the new MIDI editing add-on for composing, arranging and songwriting in Studio One. Many users have requested an easy way to select certain voices in a series of chords. For example, only the highest voice or only the lowest voice or only the second voice from the top. Why is this useful? Well, if you have different chords, let's say for a piano track, then you might want to edit the different notes within one chord separately. For example, it makes sense to make the top note of each chord just a bit louder than the other notes, because that's what pianists often do to emphasize the highest voice. Let's listen to this short piano part I've recorded. It could sound a bit more musical. Now, to select the melody, the highest voice, you can either try to draw a selection, or most of the time you will hold the shift key and select the single notes manually. But with Harmony Wizard, you can do this a little faster, or much faster, depending on the material and how many chords you have. With Harmony Wizard, you can just click on Select Voice, and here in the menu, select highest voice. And now with all the top notes selected, you can press Ctrl plus I or Command plus I on the Mac and this will invert the selection and give us all the notes except the highest voice. And now we can go to the velocity lane and decrease the velocity just a little to make the lower notes sound a little softer. To me that sounds much more crisp and sophisticated. Or let's say you want to hear only the highest voice of the chords, because maybe you like to have it played by another instrument and you just want to hear this melody. Then it's also useful to just select the highest notes and then what you can do is you can invert the selection with Ctrl plus I, I for invert, and then you can press Shift plus M to mute all the other notes and then you can listen to only the melody. Or let's move the melody to the flute. And maybe we also want to hear the second voice from the top. Then we can just say select next voice. And this is gonna move the selection to the next voice in the chord from top to bottom. So we can go back and forth and step through the different voices of the chords. Or you can also say you want to select a specific voice in the middle. Then you can use these macros. Select the second voice or select the fourth voice in each chord. So all this is possible with the voice selection command in Harmony Wizard. There's one more function in the list that is quite special because it uses my own chord detection that I have developed specifically for Harmony Wizard. And that is select root note. The root note, that's the main note or the starting point of a chord, like the home base that gives the chord its name. So for a C major chord, C is the root note. That's not necessarily always the lowest note because your chords might be inverted. And that's why I developed this option, select root note. This tells you which of the notes in the chords are the root notes. So maybe you just want to know, ah, this chord here, this is a D chord, for example. Or you could, of course, take these notes and drag them with the mouse below the chord. And this basically gives us a bass line because the bass typically plays the root notes of the chords. That's just one example and some of you will already know that there's another function that does exactly that, extract the root note from a chord selection and create a baseline with it. It's not exactly the same, this baseline command does a bit more than that, it also keeps the notes closer together to make sure they actually stay here in the lower range, but yeah, you could also use the voice selection command for that. And of course, you can also create keyboard shortcuts for any of these commands and macros. 
For example, because I need the select highest voice all the time, I've made a keyboard shortcut just by going to Studio One and Keyboard Shortcuts. Then I enter select highest voice, then click on the macro in the list, and then I can assign a key of my choice and click assign to save it. And now when I have a chord progression like this, I can always quickly select the highest voice just with one key which is obviously much easier than going into the voice menu and click select highest voice, especially if you use it a lot. The select voice command in Harmony Wizard can also be very handy for arrangers who like to create a string arrangement from a series of chords or a brass or a woodwind or a choir arrangement. How do we do that? Let's say we have our piano track and some other tracks like violin 1, violin 2, viola and cello and we want to extract each voice to its own instrument. Then I can go ahead and use Harmony Wizard to select the separate voices and move them to their own track. Let's select the highest voice and now I'm gonna select all the instrument parts on the different tracks. That's important to already have a part for each instrument track that can be empty, that's totally fine. And now here's the trick. After you select the voice you want to transfer, let's again select the highest voice. And now, which is so cool, you can right click on one of the notes and here you see we have a transfer notes menu. And really nobody knows that this exists. And here you see all the different tracks from where we have our selected parts. And now I can just select the violin track and you can see that Studio One has moved all the notes we had selected to the violin track. And because I have my nice colors here for the different parts and I have set note color to part, this shows us clearly that the highest voice is now in the first violin. You can see this even better if you expand the track list here in the editor because here you can see which track has which color. I think that's so powerful and that has nothing to do with Harmony Wizard. That's actually purely a Studio One feature, but Harmony Wizard can help us to select the different voices within the chord. And now let's click on the piano chord to go back to the piano track. And now I'm gonna select the highest note again. Why is this? Because all note actions, also the native Studio One note actions, always apply only to the notes of the current track. So even if it shows us the notes of the other tracks we have selected here, if you don't have any notes selected and you use any of the note actions, they will affect only the notes of the current track. Which in this case is just perfect because I have set up a keyboard shortcut for select highest note and now I can just select the highest voice, the highest voice in the piano track and then again right click, transfer notes and choose violin 2. Again, next voice, right click and viola. For the last remaining voice, I don't even need Harmony Wizard. I can simply press Ctrl or Command A to select all the voices of the current track, which in this case is exactly our remaining voice. And this I simply transfer to the cello. Now our piano track is empty and all voices have been transferred to each respective instrument or track. Again, transfer notes is not a Harmony Wizard feature, it's a Studio One feature, but in combination with the Select Voice and Chords feature of Harmony Wizard, I can very quickly turn a few chords into a string arrangement. And now comes the bonus tip. I draw a selection and select all the notes all the notes from the different tracks and now I choose create baseline from selected notes. Now we got a baseline with just one click and this baseline I'm gonna move to the bass. And to make it sound more like a string arrangement, let's merge the repeated notes and let's listen. <laughs> 